Have you ever felt lost? Like you're just a tiny, insignificant speck in an infinitely large, indifferent universe. That's Jack, standing at the edge of the abyss. And today, we're diving headfirst into that abyss. Existentialism. It's not just a word that makes you sound smart at parties. It's a philosophy that takes our little lost friend Jack's crisis and turns it on its head. It's the philosophy of those brave enough to acknowledge life's inherent absurdity, its meaninglessness. As Camus put it, you will never live if you are looking for the meaning of life. But what then of our friend Jack? Confronted by this apparent nihilism, does he surrender to despair? Camus, our sage guide in this journey, would suggest an emphatic no. Existentialism is not a defeatist philosophy. Rather, it is one of liberation. We return to Camus's myth of Sisyphus, a man cursed to roll a boulder up a hill eternally, only for it to roll back down. A cruel joke of the gods, you might say, but Camus invites us to imagine Sisyphus happy. The essence of this parable is the acceptance of life's inherent absurdity. Not just acceptance, but a rebellious embrace of it. Jack finds meaning not in the end, but in the struggle itself, the act of living. So, in a universe indifferent to our plights, how do we find meaning? Camus's answer, we create it. Through our choices, our struggles, our defiance, we craft our own narrative, we are the author, the artist and the hero in our own epic. Much like Jack, we too must navigate this existential journey, must choose to live in spite of absurdity, to embrace the struggle and in doing so, find our meaning. So that's existentialism in a cosmic nutshell. Got a burning philosophy you want us to tackle next? Drop it in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed our journey today. And remember, in the words of Camus, in the midst of winter, I found there was, within me, an invincible summer.